What is up bros and brats? I am Ink Slasher and today we're going to be talking about customization within Call of Duty World War 2. We're going to start out by looking at both paint jobs and emblems and then after that we're going to get into character customization and weapon customization as well. Now as you guys may or may not know, two of the biggest series on this channel are the top 5 emblems and top 5 paint jobs. This is something we did throughout all of Black Ops 3 but couldn't really do in Infinite Warfare as there were no paint jobs. Well, the good news for today is that paint jobs are absolutely back well at least kind of but let's start by talking about emblems first so as far as emblems goes as of right now there's kind of two ways of looking at these the first of which is going into your dossier and then when you're in there go to emblems and then my emblems and you are able to create one the other one is actually right with inside headquarters there's an area you can go to as you see here and there's an area that you can create an emblem but there's also another two options you can upload your emblems or you can view other people's emblems who have uploaded them into the database and similarly with paint jobs all you have to do to go look at those or create those is go to the gunsmith but as we can see in the menus here this is currently unavailable now i personally have no idea when this is going to become available but if i was a betting man i would say it shouldn't be more than a couple of weeks the reason why i say that is because if we look back at infinite warfare they also advertised things coming soon to the game and they didn't put them out for two months and they really did get criticized for that so i couldn't see sledgehammer doing the same thing on top of that another thing that we know about that's in the headquarters that isn't there as of right now is raid there's supposed to be these raids where airplanes come and attack the headquarters and you have to defend them off and as of right now that's not in the game either so i would assume that they should be adding those at around the same time as they add paint jobs and a place for you to actually share your emblems but what i will say is as of right now what we are going to do is i am going to restart the series top five emblems and top five paint jobs as of right now it's just going to be emblems but if you would like to submit your emblems or paint jobs in the future the way to do so is just send them to me on twitter just at ink slash send me your emblems and then at the end of the week i will create a video based on all of your emblems making sure all of you guys get shout outs so if you would like to submit them my twitter link is down in the description or you can just send it to at ink slasher but as of right now that's really all i can say about paint jobs within world war ii i do know that once you go to customize your weapons there's a slot for you to add them to your weapon but as i said it's currently unavailable how is it going to compare to black ops 3 paint job creator i have no idea but i'm assuming it's going to be very very similar now what is the other types of customization in the game so the first of which that i wanted to touch on is camos so as of right now all of the camos that are in the game are camos you can earn from completing challenges so all of the camos you can get are ones you get from getting headshots and then completing the challenges after that there are no camos that you can actually get through supply drops which was kind of shocking to me because if you look back at black ops 3 and infinite warfare so many of the items that were within supply drops were simply camos and that's not the case in this game which is pretty damn interesting all of the camos as of right now this may change later are ones that you can actually earn Another two things that you can add to your weapon are both your clan tag and a kill counter. Now, this is done by prestiging the divisions. Once you prestige divisions, you then unlock these two items for your weapon. So, in other words, if you would like to unlock the kill counter for a sniper rifle, you have to prestige the mountain division twice. Similarly with SMGs, the airborne, infantry, assault rifles, so on and so forth. And the final thing that you probably have seen yourself receiving a lot of through supply drops are sweetheart grips. Now, these go on pistols, and as you can see here, they basically just put an image under your grip. They're a brand new way of customizing it, and I can't wait to see what people do with these when they are also able to put a paint job on their weapon as well. I think that'll be very, very interesting. And then finally, we have our character customization. Of course, you can choose what your character's face looks like, but there are some other things you can do as well, one of which is put on a new helmet. As of right now, I only have two helmets and don't really know how you can earn more of them but like i said those are one thing that you are able to change and then finally the actual look of your division soldiers so these aren't just uniforms that you are able to put on any character it depends what division you are applying so if you go over the different divisions press triangle go in there you're able to choose a different type of soldier and when you do so you're going to have different types of uniforms within there now all of these items are received through either supply drops or you can buy them through collect 
selections. And as I mentioned before, they are division dependent. So only certain uniforms work when you're playing as certain division. And guys, that's pretty much it. Those are all the main aspects of customization. Of course, like I said, we are going to be doing top five emblems and paint jobs once paint jobs are actually available in game. And if you would like to submit yours, the way to do so is just send them to me on Twitter. Like I said, Twitter link down in the description. But guys, if you enjoyed the video and found it informative, it would be fantastic if you could hit that like button. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, you can always hit that subscribe button as I upload new Call of Duty videos every single day of the week. And we got plenty of good ones coming throughout this week. And guys, on top of that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this to us.